Good afternoon, YouTube. You can see we're out here on the lake again, except we're on a different lake this time. This is Lake Georgetown in the city of Georgetown in Texas. This is a much bigger lake than the last lake I uh, showed you guys. That was Brushy Creek Lake Park. Is this a pond? No, yeah. this is a lake. That's my uh, three-year-old, Avienna. She's riding with me in the front of the boat today. And if you can see out in front of us, that green boat, green kayak, and the pink kayak is chasing Ember again. Chase is my nine-year-old. Ember is my seven-year-old. Me and my wife and the three kids doing some camping this weekend at uh, Jim Hogg Park right on the lake, Lake Georgetown. We just uh, carried our boats down a little trail from our campground, from our campsite, right down to the lake. So we're going to paddle around for a little bit this afternoon before we head back to camp. We've been here the last couple days, but the weather was not good yesterday. It was really windy, it was really cold, it actually rained for a little while. But today, everything's pretty nice, so we're out here on the lake. There's Chase. Hi, Chase. Hi. What did I say about bumper boats with, the, with Abby and the, the boat? Oh, right. Oh, right. Don't do it. That's what I said. Remember? <laughs> no crashing today. Yeah, no crashing. Hi, Where Where you guys just were? Blinded. Don't, don't do that. The, ca the camera is blinded. Okay, I'm trying to get away. Don't try to get away. Stay away. Don't splash my camera. I'm sorry. It's waterproof, but don't do it, okay? What? I said it's waterproof, but don't do it. Bye, camera. Let's, uh, let's go over there around that point. Just follow me. I'll show you where. Please not follow me. That Dewey first wins. I'm not trying to race. I have a toddler in the boat with me, buddy. I'm just trying to stay, stay paddling. Me get a race. Hi, no. baby racer. Quick little turn so you guys can see just how big this lake is. Oh yeah, I want, I want, I want, I want. Chase, I quiet. Want, I want, so if you look way over there. Oh yeah, oh. It's a Billy. The actual Billy. boat launch is way over there somewhere. Who's fun? There's another one. Oh. I'm good There's another. I'm good Area to fish over there. Don't run into me! And way over there in the distance is the dam. So over there, you can see that cliff. There's another campground. Uh, up on top. We camped there once last year, but there's no way to get from your campsite down to the lake without going to the boat launch. So while we were there last year, I could see across the lake over here to Jim Hogg Park where we're camping this time. And there was people just pulling their boats right down these little trails from their campground right to the lake. I figured that would be a lot easier. So we got a campground, or a campsite over here this year. Wait me, I'm waiting. You you paddle faster than I do, Emma. Remember your boat's lighter.
We're going over here to this little point. You gotta get your seatbelt on. Oh, the straps from your floaty vest with your seatbelt. Don't do that again. Alright YouTube, leave me a comment if you like to go camping, if you like to go paddling. Uh, we were going to do some fishing today, but we decided since this was Abby's first time on the boat, I wanted to see how she reacted to it. So far she's doing great. She's not fussing, she's not scared. Abby, you're not scared, are you? Yeah, you are? You're up there singing and laughing and having fun. You're not scared. No. You're not scared. But yeah, so leave me a comment. Uh, let me know if you like to go camping, if you like to go fishing, if you like to go paddle around, and uh, especially let me know if you're in the Austin, greater Austin area of Texas, where's a good place to go kayaking and camping I know Ladybird Lake down uh, in downtown Austin is a good spot to go kayaking. But uh, where else? We've, we've lived here for about a year and a half and uh, I've only kayaked on three different bodies of water. Lake Georgetown, uh, Brushy Creek Lake Park, and Ladybird Lake. So I'm always looking for new places to go paddle around and do some fishing. So yeah, let me know. I'm gonna go paddle around a little bit more and uh, we'll come back in a bit, okay? Thanks. Hey guys, just because I brought my uh, depth finder and fishing finder out here. This is a Hummingbird brand. Shh. Looks, says right now we're at about 34 feet of water. The water temperature is 72 degrees. And uh, it looks like a pretty flat bottom. Not seeing much of any fish right here, but let's uh, paddle around and see if we can find anything, okay? Let me get you back on the boat here. Hold on one second, guys. And that clamp is tough. comment let me know if anybody uses depth finders or Daddy. fish finders on uh, on their kayaks I found it pretty helpful especially when you're looking around for bait fish or structure on the bottom it really helps you find where the fish are hiding so you know where to go
So yeah, this lake's a lot bigger, a lot deeper than uh, Rusty Creek Lake Park where we were at the last couple times we made videos for you guys. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right. I gotta put the camera up front away so I don't bang on it with my paddle. But we're gonna slowly head back to our side of the lake, pull the boats up the hill, and uh, start, getting some, start getting some dinner ready. This is our last night at the campground. We were here. We got in Thursday evening. We were here Thursday night. All day yesterday, which was Friday. All day today, which was Saturday. So we're just gonna enjoy the rest of our night tonight. Pack up in the morning. Taste again. Back away. Anyway, like I was saying, enjoy your night tonight. Cook some dinner, make some s'mores. Yummy s'mores! Yummy s'mores! Yeah. So eat yummy s'mores! Alright, so we're in 37 feet of water right now. Well, that, like, there's some fish down there. Nine feet. 19 feet, 25 feet. Can I see the fish? Should have brought my fishing gear. Can I see the fish? He bought it, Daddy. He bought it, Daddy. I, can't, I didn't see it. Yeah, there's a bunch of fish underneath us right now. 25 feet, 26 feet. Wait, are those little street fish? No, look at the look, they look like fish. Oh. And there's a number next to them. That tells you how deep they are. 26 feet. Oh, there's 12, 12 feet. 13. Oh no, mama. Stop. I'm gonna cross into this okay. now. No, we're done. Okay. So next time, next year when we come out, we'll remember right here between these two buoys, seem to be lots of fish down there. We'll have to uh, bring our poles and bring some bait. No, come on, let's just go. We gotta get back to the beach. So. This is not a beach. You guys wanna see what I'm talking about? You see there, it shows the little fish icons. Whoa, Abby, stop, please. It shows the little fish icons, and it, there's a number next to it that tells you they're 29 feet down, 31 feet down, there's one over there, 32 feet down. 26, 24. So yeah, kind of like this thing. Wish I would have brought my pole with me. Anyway, we'll, we'll see you guys back at the camp. Hey guys, we're back at camp. Abby needed a potty break, so we are walking down the road to get to the bathrooms. It's weird in this, this campground, you gotta go up the trail have a hand and then cut between two campsites and go up a hill to get to the bathroom and the showers they don't have the bathroom on the uh the main pass-through road at least for this part of the camp hey you see bathroom showers I'm gonna go up this hill to that building but the cool thing is we came up here last night there was like four or five deer just out here hanging out and eating. We walked by them to go to the bathroom, then walked back down. They were right here. They didn't get spooked. They didn't run away. They just kind of look at you like, what are you doing? Then we came back a couple hours later before bed. They were still there, just kind of hanging out. Anyway, again, we are at Jim Hogg Park here in Georgetown, Texas, which is about an hour north of Austin. Just doing some camping for the weekend. Would have made more videos, but like I said earlier, the weather was horrible yesterday. It was freezing cold. Wind was blowing at like 20 miles an hour. 54 degrees, but it felt way colder than that. And it rained for a good hour, so. Okay. 
so yeah we're gonna enjoy our last night here sit by the fire make some s'mores eat some dinner probably not in that order eat dinner first then s'mores anyway we'll be back in a bit She's so funny. Look at me, Daddy. Watch this, Daddy. Look, I can skip, Daddy. I can run, Daddy. Oh, three years old. I just turned 40 earlier this year. And man, I feel every day of it sometimes. Other times, I feel still like I'm in my 20s.